Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today we are reacting to another episode of South Park. Today's episode is from you guys and it's called Kenny Dies. Let's see how this goes. What a delightful way to start an episode with an abortion. <laughs> All right, Miss Anders, all ready for your abortion? Ready as I'm ever going to be, I guess. A sitcom laughs. Well, try to relax. It will all be over very soon. Doctor, can we turn off that television? <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, there is one more thing. What? Have you heard of stem cell research? Oh, I've heard of it on the news, but I don't know what it is. Miss, have you heard of Christopher Reeve? <laughs> <laughs> right now, a lot of stem cells come from the tissue of aborted fetuses. I I'm sorry, unwanted children. I just love the process of uh, recycling offensive words. Like something becomes very offensive, you have to replace it with another term. Then this term also becomes offensive, and you have to recycle it once again. It's a never-ending loop. <laughs> And if you sign a release, that tissue can go to study. Oh, well, I suppose if it can help others. The hope is that someday it might. Okay. Great. Well, here we go. And I was thinking to myself, why is Air involved in this procedure? Why is he sucking the fetus out of her? <laughs> Nurse, this is to go to Alder's labs for stem cell research. Yes, doctor. Don't show it to me, please. If Christopher Reeve is about to hijack this truck, I am leaving. <laughs> Jesus well, that was quite an exaggerated reaction. <laughs> The combination of Cartman and fetuses, it's a very lethal one. Well, that burned a long time. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, dude, there goes one. Here you go. Oh, hey. <laughs> <coughs> You've had that cough a while, Kenny. You okay? Whoa, whoa, let's go. Hey, fellas. Uh, hey, fellas. What, Butters? In Moldova, there are some people that gather the fecal matter from cows. And then in the winter, they heat up their houses with it. It does produce a lot of energy. But the biggest drawback is, listen to this, your house is gonna smell like cow sh**. <laughs> Eric says you gotta come to his house right away. Tell him we're busy. Oh, uh, well he knew you'd say that, so he told me to tell you that you don't want to miss this. What, did he lose 100 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he knew you'd say that too, so he said to say, um, up your ass, Jew. Eric Cartman is the true strategian of South Park. He can predict five of your next moves. <laughs> All right, let's go see what he wants. What's <laughs> all oh, sticky? Ladies and gentlemen, do you know how bad the fecal matter of a cow stinks? It penetrates your nasal orifices. Like uh, Mr. Garrison's vehicle penetrates the ass. Guess what I have sitting in my backyard? A trampoline? Better. A boat? Better. <laughs> Better. Well, what, Cartman? 33 aborted fetuses. At some point in the show, the kids didn't know what sex meant. But now, Cartman has a collection of 33 aborted fetuses. What? Mint condition, tax-free. Cartman, what the hell are you doing with aborted fetuses? I'm leaving right now. Oh, I guess you don't watch the news, Kyle. You've never watched the news, fat ass. 
And what the hell does that have to do with anything? Stem cells, numb nuts. Stem cells? Oh, and what do you know about stem cells? What the fuck is stem cells? They're cells that come from fetuses, and some research shows that they could be used to treat diseases. You see the kids of South Park, they appear to be very informed on a certain topic, and then the next episode they're like, what's a condom? <laughs> I saw it on 3 2 contact. With all the research that's going on, stem cells are worth three times their weight in gold. What I have in my backyard is an aborted treasure chest. <laughs> I hate you so much. <coughs> Fine! I don't need you assholes! I can sell these fetuses all on my own! Hello, is this University of Colorado Biology? <laughs> when Eric Cartman dresses in his business attire, cash is about to flow. Great. Look, I understand you're currently doing research on stem cells. Cool, because I'm currently in possession of some uh, aborted fetuses. I'm looking to unload. Now, how much do you pay? No, no, come on. I, I got a guy in Cleveland who's going to give me $80 a pound right now. How about $100? <laughs> Are you breaking my boss? I, I think about it. <laughs> That's who Donald Trump was inspired by when he wrote The Art of the Deal. Boss <laughs> Nod Medical Group? Yeah, I called earlier about the stem cells and the fetuses. Okay, hi, Randy, yeah. Oh, yes, they've been kept in a cool temperature, yeah. These are primo fetuses, Randy. I wouldn't jerk you around. So what can your company give me for them? Oh, Randy, you're breaking my balls here. <laughs> breaking my balls, Randy. Breaking oh, my please. balls. Okay, you tell me where you can get aborted fetuses for 70 cents on the dollar. You tell me, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's the wisest choice to sell them a piece because, uh... Some fetuses are aborted at different times, so they might have different sizes. That's a substantial loss factor. Yeah, I didn't think so. You know, I'm just like the fetuses, Chuck. I wasn't born yesterday either. Uh-huh. You gonna talk to me or we're just gonna keep bullshitting each other? Breaking my balls, Chuck. I gotta unload these fetuses. You wanna do some research. Are we talking here or what? You're breaking my balls. I'm telling you, if you let this deal pass you by, you're making a fetal mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Fidelity. <laughs> all right, all right, we got a deal. Get back. Damn, I'm good. He is. He is. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes, I'm making a delivery of these fetuses, Jan. Oh, right, the fetuses. We were very lucky you called. Our last shipment of fetuses was lost in a truck accident. Gee, that's terrible. So, uh, who do I talk to? <laughs> This does remind me of Guy Ritchie's Snatch movie. The plot is pretty similar. <laughs> well, apart from the fact that here we have aborted fetuses instead of jewelry. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but we can't buy those from you now. What? We made a deal, Gary. I brought them all the way down here, I-80. I'm afraid the government has just put a ban on stem cell research. A ban? Why? Too many people were upset about using aborted fetal tissue for a study. It's too bad, too. We really could have helped a lot of people. What the hell am I supposed to do with these things, huh? I think they're banned in the US right now, aren't they? Funding of the derivation of stem cells from human embryos is prohibited by annual appropriation ban on the funding of human embryo research. Okay, so it is illegal to get them from fetuses. <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong, boys. We just need to talk to you. Have a seat. Boys, uh... Your little friend Kenny went to the hospital last night. Okay. And, well, he's pretty sick. Kenny's sick? Well, how sick? Children, Kenny has been diagnosed with a terminal disease. Isn't it what Kenny does for a living? Dying? <laughs> but I think a terminal disease is a bit better than the other 68 ways he died previously. <laughs> Wait, Kenny's going to die? He might, Kyle. But he's our f f f friend we know and that's why he's going to need you boys to be strong for him okay he needs you now more than ever no this can't happen south park is just toying with my emotions they can make you not care at all that kenny was cut in half by a chainsaw but once again they can make you pretty emotional because kenny has a terminal disease <laughs> well some sad music was all it took for me <laughs> kenny can't die Kenny can't die! <laughs> yeah, so though, is this Captain Bly Seafood Restaurant? Yeah, hi, I've got a shipment of about 31 of the most succulent shrimp from the West Indies. <laughs> Did you know that the Soviet Union had the highest rate of shrimp production 
in the last century. <laughs> These are killer shrimp, Gary. Your customers are gonna love them. What kind of price are you paying for shrimp? Oh, Gary, you're breaking my balls, Gary. How about ten and a quarter? Balls, Gary. Breaking them. All right, I'll call you back. <sighs> Sweetie, your friends are downstairs. They need to see you. Not now, Mom. I've only unloaded three feet high. I've got to sell the rest before they spoil. They say it's an emergency. <laughs> All right, butters. Cartman has pretty sophisticated linguistic abilities. My man knows the plural form of fetus. <laughs> Remember what I taught you and follow protocol. Next number to try is on the list. Right. Uh, hello? Is this Mr. Thompson with Anatomy Research? Yes, uh, hello, sir. Uh, uh, we have a surplus of unborn fetuses that we think you could use for dissection study. Uh-huh. Uh, how much do you pay for that? You're breaking my balls. <laughs> I said you're breaking my balls, Mr. Thompson. My, my balls. Damn, now I see where those kick-ass genetics come from. <laughs> Cartman. Kenny's in the hospital. In the hospital? Why? They told us he has a muscular disease, and, and that, and that he, he might die. Die? Kenny? Don't you say that! Kenny's not gonna die! I'm going to take the boys to go see him at the hospital, Eric. We thought you might want to come. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let me get my coat. Empathy from Eric Cartman? That's gotta be something new. <laughs> hey, dude, how's it going? We brought you a present. It's a gobo fighter. <laughs> don't, don't tell him what it is, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> hey, we were all just talking about how when you get better, we're all gonna go down to Stark's Pond again and go camping. Huh, Stan? I... <laughs> you can't. You can't give Kenny a terminal disease and not expect me to get emotional. <laughs> Dude, he's supposed to be running around and laughing. I, I know it's tough, but look at me. I know it's tough, okay? I know. But we have to be tough right now. And what are we supposed to do, huh? Stand in that room and keep making small talk? Make believe like everything's okay? I can't do it. Look, however hard you think it is for you, it's a lot harder for him. Just leave me alone. Is this South Park? <laughs> the way we transcended the world of aborted fetuses and landed in the world of emotional drama. This is incredible. Stan, you can't leave. I'm not the one who's leaving. He is. You know, it's funny, Kenny. Stan and Kyle have always sort of been two best friends, you know? And, well, I don't know if I ever told you this, Kenny, but uh, I kind of always thought you were my best f friend. This is too abnormal. I think Cartman might get a compassion overdose. This is not good for him. <laughs> Cartman? Oh, Kyle. Hey, what's going down, Jew boy? Cartman, were you crying? No. No, I mean, I, I got something in my eyes. It's the, the air in here is just... Oh, man. Hey, Cartman. I care a lot about him, too. I'll tell you what. This shocks me more than the woodland critters having a blood orgy. I'm gonna find a cure, Cap. I swear to God, I'm gonna find a cure. Sure you will, Cartman. Sure you will. Doctor, can you tell me exactly how stem cells work? Look, you have trillions of cells in your body. Heart cells, skin cells, brain cells, and so on. But before a cell is designated as a toenail cell or a pancreas cell, it's what we call a stem cell. Sort of like a blank cell, do you understand? Not at all, but go on. <laughs> I don't think that cage in the background is impeding the rat from escaping. It just doesn't have the wheel to freedom. Because these cells are blanks, they will often program themselves based on what cells you put around them. How difficult it is escaping that cage. Well, I guess a rat is not a durable. <laughs> Nerve cells damaged by Parkinson's disease or heart tissue of cardiac patients might ultimately be replaced by tissue grown from stem cells. So then, could stem cells be used on someone whose muscle tissue is wasting away? In other words, if a little boy was dying from a muscular disease, the stem cells could become new muscle tissue. That's the theory. Well, so then, if the stem cells were placed next to a Shakey's pizza, they would become another Shakey's pizza. There's gotta be some hidden profit for Cartman in this. No way this boy does this out of pure compassion. <laughs> but, unfortunately, the government has banned stem cell research, and so we'll never know. 
Looks like somebody's gonna have to try and change the government's mind. Oh, doctor. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, and hey, kid. Good luck. South Park mocking Hollywood? Question mark. Let the whole world be against me. I don't care. They took one of my sons away, but they're not gonna take the other. You've got lots of friends, don't you, Kenny? No, I'm not that strong. Stan? Oh, well, no, there's nothing here from Stan, but, well, Stan's gonna come see you real soon, I bet, Kenny. I hope so. Hey, look who's here. Stan? Hello, Kenny, I'm Laura Jones, and this is Bob Farron. We're with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh, Kenny, <laughs> isn't that nice? Okay, they're gonna get him the lamest celebrity to visit him. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, Barbara Streisand <laughs> or something. <laughs> we travel the country giving special little boys and girls like you their biggest wish. Neat, huh, Kenny? Yeah. So, Kenny, if you could have one wish, what would it be? What's your wish, pal? <laughs> what did he say? He said his wish is not to die. <laughs> I know those foundations do some charity work, but it doesn't feel right when someone sticks a big f***ing camera in a dying kid's face and is like, Oh, Gary, get a closer shot of the tears. Okay, and what if you could have two wishes? What would the second one be? I know. I bet you'd like to meet Madonna, huh? <laughs> Well, if your goal is to die faster, then I guess it makes sense. What was that? He said Madonna's an old anorexic whore who wore it a welcome years ago, and that now she suddenly speaks with a British accent and she thinks she can play guitar and she should go f*** herself. <laughs> should I come in now? <laughs> I would have never called this gorgeous woman those horrible things. Shame on you, Kenny. Hello there, children. Hey, Chef. How's it going? Bad. Yeah, things have been better, huh? Why would God let Kenny die, Chef? Why? Kenny's my f, -f friend Why can't God take someone else's f -f -f friend? friend? Stan, sometimes God takes those closest to us because it makes him feel better about himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think of God more like a joker. He watches everything around us like a sitcom. He's just entertained by our pain and suffering. He's a very vengeful God, Stan. He's all pissed off about something we did thousands of years ago. He just can't get over it. So he doesn't care who he takes. Children, puppies, it don't matter to him so long as it makes us sad. Do you Resent is the fuel of the majority of the religious entities. If you want to make a baby cry, first you give it a lollipop, then you take it away. If you never give it a lollipop to begin with, then you would have nothing to cry about. That's like God, who gives us life and love and health just so that he can tear it all away and make us cry. So he can drink the sweet milk of our tears. You <laughs> see, it's our tears, Stan, that give God his great power. I think this makes Cartman a little bit of a god when he was uh, drinking the tears of Scott Tennerman. <laughs> My best friend in the whole world is Kenny McCormick and he he's sick right now. He's only eight years old and the doctors don't think he has very long to live. Look, I realize that using the tissue from aborted fetuses for research is a touchy subject, but all I know is that if there's a chance, a chance that stem cell research could save my best friend's life, well, I guess I owe it to him to try and change your minds. I think Cartman is still trying to build his stem cell empire. I don't think this has anything to do with Kenny. <laughs> I love Kenny McCormick and and I want you to love him, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm not the best speaker in the world. That's a very, very bold lie. <laughs> Maybe I can put it best in the words of Timeless Song. It was the heat of the moment. Telling me what you your heart made <laughs> The heat of the moment Shown in your eyes Do, Do you remember <laughs> when we used to dance? And it's against the rules from circumstance 
you gotta give credit to Eric Carpen. The son of a bitch has a nice music taste. One thing led to another, we were young. And we would scream together songs on song. It was the heat of the moment. Telling me what your heart meant. The heat of the moment. Shown in your eyes. The pure power of American pragmatism. <laughs> and so you see, now that the ban on stem cell research has been lifted, we can sell your fetus to companies like Alder Labs. Oh, I don't know. Look, I can offer you $75 for that fetus right now, Jill. $75? Well, all right. Great, just sign right here, please. <gasps> Hi, having an abortion today? Great. Listen, if you'd like to sell your abortion for research, I'm offering uh, $75. <laughs> He wants to collect all the aborted Pokemon. <laughs> Help you out a little bit with your medical bill in there. Here's your sign right here. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can I interest you in selling your aborted fetus? We're not going to the abortion clinic. I'm gonna have this baby. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that because uh, there's a little boy dying in a hospital right now who sure could use that baby more than you could. The stem cells from your fetus could help save his life. Oh. Well, I guess we can always just make another one. Oh. <laughs> But from what's happening in America right now, I would not assume that this is an unusual situation. <laughs> How much are you giving for my fetus card, man? Breaking my balls. All right. We're going, kid. Good for you. He's gone, isn't he? Hey, Kenny. He just stopped breathing and, and it was over. But I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to say goodbye. So Kenny just dies. As simple as that. A train doesn't run him over. A chainsaw doesn't cut him in half. A buffalo doesn't fuck his ass. Doesn't feel right. Did he say anything before he went? He just said, Where's Stan? But we will never forget that it was because of Brave Kenny that stem cell research was allowed to continue. He just passed away! They really killed him off! <laughs> I let Kenny down. I'm his worst f f f friend. You guys, come quick! What, Carbon? <laughs> it's... Why, it's a miracle, you guys! What, Carbon? What's happened? Look! <laughs> I knew that Cartman couldn't have that much compassion. <laughs> Thank God my fears are cast aside. <laughs> and now I have closure. Now I really do have closure. <laughs> Cartman is a genius. This whole time, you were just using Kenny's illness to lift the ban on stem cell research so you could sell your stupid fetuses? Stupid fetuses? It's my own shakies! I actually hugged you. I held you in my arms and, and cried with you. I figure I only need a hundred or so more aborted babies and I can finish up the kitchen. <laughs> There's no part in Eric Cartman's brain that is responsible for empathy. <laughs> or if there is, that part is putrefying right now. Uh, hey, I wasn't Kenny's worst f -f -f friend. Cartman was. <laughs> This honestly felt like a statement from the South Park creators. We are gonna get the most hilarious thing ever, turn it into the most emotional thing ever, and then revert it back <laughs> to the most hilarious thing ever. <laughs> Let's take a look at the bright side. At least South Park will have two shaky pizzas from now on. <laughs> but that was it for today. Thank you for watching this with me. If you have more suggestions, drop them in the comments below. But apart from that, like, subscribe. All the usual stuff, and I'll see you next time.